Mets hosting the Nationals, and the Nationals are plus 185. On the money line, the Mets are minus 225. The over-under is 8.5 runs. The Nationals getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 120, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. And the Mets laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 100, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win this game by two. I believe Williams was a Met last year. He didn't pitch against the Mets, obviously, last year if he was a member of them. And Lushetsky has not pitched against the Nationals either last year or this year. Head-to-head, -head, the home team is 5-5. Five and five. The road team's on a two-game winning streak. The Nationals are actually on a two-game winning streak. They've had this funny thing where they've been playing up to their opponents this year. These teams are 5-5 five and five against each other in their last 10. The underdog has won the last two games. The favorite is 5-5 five and five on the money line, while the underdog or the favorite getting or laying runs on the run line is 5-5. Five and five. There have been no one-run games in the last 10 meetings, so whether it's the favorite or the underdog, whoever wins this game, they've been winning it by two runs or more. The under has hit in their last two. The over-under is 5-5, five and five, and the under 8.5 runs is 7-3. and three. The two games that they've played so far this year, the Nationals have won both. They beat the Mets 5-0 and 4-1. Now in their last handful of games overall, the Nationals are 4-1 in their last 5 games, and they are 5-5 five five in their last 10. They're on a little bit of a winning streak. We had 14 runs, 4 runs, 5 runs, and 5 runs. They had 10 runs and a win against Minnesota, 1 run and a loss against Minnesota, 5 runs and a win against the Mets, and 4 runs and a win against the Mets. For the Mets, they've dropped their last 4 games, and they're 5-5 five and five in their last 10. We had a total of 11 runs, 9 runs, 5 runs, and 5 runs. They scored 4 runs and a loss, 4 runs and a loss, no runs and a loss, and 1 run and a loss. I don't think the Mets are going to continue to slump. I do think they're going to win this game and bounce back. I don't know necessarily if it's going to be in a big way or not. I think this is going to be an under type of game. I'm going to take the Mets with the money line. I'm going to take the Mets laying the runs, and I'm going to go under. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.